DR1 Racing presents the DHL Champion Series fueled by Mountain Dew. World-class drone racing that combines elite pilots, epic locations, and adrenaline-filled races. When you put your goggles on, the whole world becomes a video game. You get disconnected from the real world, and the only thing that's with you is your drone and your brain. It's like I'm flying, I'm a superhero, I can do whatever I want in the sky, I feel free. Rebel clear! It's very zen-like, kind of meditative, because you don't have time to think about anything but exactly what you're doing in that moment. This course is crazy fun. I've never flown anything like it. The adrenaline you get by racing through a tight course that speeds up to 100 miles an hour is really thrilling. When you fly and you see other drones in the air, it's like Star Wars. My favorite part about this is the competition. That drives me to push harder and push harder and push harder. Oh my God! Until now, drone racing has featured pilots racing against one another for individual glory. But the DR1 Champion Series is unique. It's all about teamwork. Individual racing is, uh, it's fun, but being with a team, it adds a whole nother level of stress because it's even more of a mind game. You're not only gonna let yourself down, but you're letting down your friends. Now we have a team racing format in DR1, which um, it did increase, I guess, the physicality of, of drone racing with pit stops and running to the drones, but it's more mentally grueling, sitting there, staying calm under pressure. So the purpose of the pit stop is simply a battery change. Our drones don't fly long enough to do the whole race on one battery. This is where you're gonna make or break a race. Up until this competition, I don't think any of us really did pit stops. This is a long pit from watching. It, this was a totally new thing for uh, a, lot, a lot of the people. The gates being used at DR1 are very different to what we're used to. We usually race through square gates. These are triangles, which means the area you have to fly through in the middle is much smaller than we used to. You're looking at a triangle from half a mile away that looks very, very small. So you're going very fast, so you have to line it up just perfect because one small mistake to the left, to the right, your quad is in a million pieces. I'm sorry, man. There's two factions. These finesse pilots, they don't really know much about the configurations, but they're fantastic pilots. They have fantastic flying ability. And then you have the nerds, and they understand the science and the physics. None of us have had to be gone for five, six weeks straight and bring enough parts and batteries and even the mental stamina of racing, moving, setting up, waking up before the sun is even close to being raised, none of us could have expected that. Each race will see two teams go head to head with two pilots flying their drones. The third team member will act as a spotter and manage the required pit stops for their teammates. On each course, each pilot must complete a total of four laps without missing any gates. The pit stop can take place on any lap. It's off. The winning pilot will earn 10 points for his team. Second place scores eight points. It's six points for third and three points for fourth. But if you fail to finish, you score nothing. This championship is all about points. So you will get no points if you crash, but you get points if you finish. It doesn't matter if you're first or it doesn't matter if you're fourth. Fin not finishing is just so bad. It's all about finishing, not crashing. So who are the five teams taking part in the DR1 Champion Series? KDRA, Lumineer, Nextblades, Rebel, and Thunder Power. Let's meet the teams competing for the Dell Technologies $50,000 grand prize. First up, KDRA, Sean Taylor, Minshad Kim, and Brian Morris. Team Lumineer bring together the combined skills of Kane Madere, Colby Curtola, and newcomer Corey Ibanez. Gary Kent replaces Luke Bannister and joins Mac Poshwald and Johnny Scher in Next Blades. Team Rebel is comprised of Vince Irie, Cooper Groves, and Michael Tseng. And finally, Thunder Power. That's Ricky Martinez, Bapu Madhu, and Chris Garza. This time, the teams cross the Atlantic to Bonn in Germany as the European leg of the series begins. The finale of the course, a mammoth 533 feet tower climb and dive.
to the finish line below. So, 15 world-class pilots are about to take on the tower. But first, let's recap how they did on race two at the Mojave Boneyard. Situated in the desert of California, the graveyard of ominous steel skeletons was not the only challenge for the teams. Weather has had a huge influence on, on our flying. We had this huge, huge, huge sandstorm come out of nowhere, blasted all of our gear with tons and tons of dirt. I was just packing my things up because I knew there was no way we were gonna be flying. The following day, the teams returned to take on the course. In Mojave Boneyard, it was definitely a much more challenging track. Min Chan, he was not enjoying it at all. No, oh, please don't cry. It was not his style of courses. As you travel around the world, you get very different styles. And, and I think something they don't have is a lot of elevation changes. And he just hated that. Next blades were awesome during the heats. They were joined by Rebel in the final. My boy right there. Woo! When we were at Mojave, obviously Vince, in a, in a way, kind of cost us the win in the finals. In my second heat of the finals, I didn't have video going over the first airplane. My video is I, I can't fly. Usually when a pilot doesn't have good video, they will restart the race, and they did not in my case. See what you can do. No, I can't. It's Please, shut up, please, shut up, please. Vince definitely had video issues, and he didn't deal with them in a calm and collected way. I can't fly. The videos. I, I think it caused me to crash on a pretty, a fairly easy win. Gone. Vince is not helping me right now. Like, f Vince. If Vince didn't have that meltdown, they would have taken the points in that round, and we wouldn't be able to come back from that. <sighs> So after race two, the standings show Nextblade sitting comfortably on top of the leaderboard with 10 points from two victories. Lumineer, KDRA, and Rebel are close behind with Thunderpower at the bottom of the table. I am super stoked today because we've got a massive course for our pilots. Completely unprecedented, never ever done before in drone racing history has a building dive been incorporated into a racetrack. In the Mountain Dew fly-through, Vince, Mac, and Gary talk us through the course. So gate one's the first gate off the start finish. It's actually my favorite gate, but it's also the most dangerous gate. After you go past that gate, you're over the water. Which is quite tricky, because if you make a mistake or you have a mid-air collision, then you're going to end up in the water. Don't want to crash into water, because when you crash into water, it's done. Well, gate two is kind of tricky, because you're over the water, and you need to hit it at an angle so you can line up with gate three. Gate three, I think, is the hardest gate of the whole track. This is a very sharp turn, and you go inside like a, a tree tunnel. So you have to be very careful, because some of the branches are really low. If you don't do the, the correct move to the right, you're going to hit either the tree or you're not going to line up. And you better not hit one because you're going to end up on the ground. When you do the 180 out of the forest, gate four is right in front of you. So you can take that, but you need to line up for gate five. So you go through gate five and then you're literally, you pin the throttle, full throttle to get to the top of the tower. And you're on the throttle all the way to the top, all the way over the top. And then you're not just letting off the throttle to come down, you're powering down the tower towards the ground. like nothing you've ever done before. It's amazing. So gate six is the one you're going from when you're falling from the tower. You really either need to slow down or go very fast and turn around to make that gate. Otherwise, you're gonna, you're gonna crash. After you nail gate six, you should be in line with gate seven. You hit gate seven and it's good. Coming up after the break, the action commences. Welcome back to Bonn in Germany for race three of DR1 Racing's DHL Champion Series, fueled by Mountain Dew. Yeah, dude! Woo! 
So during the series, each team is allowed to do a change out for any of their pilots. The two teams that took advantage of that today is Team Lumineer, who swapped out Phil Freybot for Corey Ibanez. Now, the bigger story, Team Nextblades, who is in the lead, had to swap out Luke Bannister due to school commitments, and stepping into place is Gary Kent. Now, as I understand it, Gary Kent is a powerhouse himself. However, it will be interesting to see how the new team dynamics play out in race three of the season. So it's time to take on the tower, a unique challenge that none of our pilots have encountered before. First up, it was Lumineer versus Rebel. Colby and Kane against Cooper and Michael. Coop, give me a fist bump. Let's do it, guys. Rebel took the lead from the start with Michael leading the pack over the lake and through gate two. Kane for Lumineer was third, but crashed out after crossing the water. Michael topped the tower first, full throttle all the way down. Colby was the sole flyer for Lumineer. He clips gate four, but survives. Cooper was ahead, descending the tower more conservatively. A good move so as not to risk crashing, since Lumineer were one pilot down. Rebels Cooper came in for his pit stop. Vince came out for the battery change. Colby came into pit with Corey in charge of proceedings for Lumineer. Meanwhile, Michael was on his last lap and took the win for Rebel. Mike, number one. Great job, bruh. Fist bump. Cooper came in second to make it a Rebel 1-2, and Colby was third. All right, race one done. Team Rebel taking in the win for first and second. First heat of the day. You guys gotta be feeling good for this win. I just followed behind Mike the whole time from start squadron. till the second lap. Like a squadron, yep. It was sweet, just took it easy. Uh, I'm so happy with these boys flying. I mean, they're such solid pilots. We took one and two. We're going to the finals today, I can feel it. The leaderboard confirms that Rebels secure maximum points for a perfect start to the competition. With only one quad home and dry in third, Lumineer will be disappointed with their performance. Coming up next, Netflix and Thunder Power. Ready. Ready. Go. go, go, go. That's it, that's it. Gary was making his debut in the series. From the outset, he flew safely. Mac reached the tower first and flew full throttle down the side of the structure, executing a quick correction as he lined up for gate six. Thunder Power's Ricky tackled the building for the first time. Don't push too hard. Gary came into pit with Johnny in charge of proceedings. It was a time efficient changeover. Good to go. Garza for Thunder Power miscalculated his descent from the building and failed to pass through the gate. Oh. But he was able to rejoin the race. Oh, but lost control, most likely due to the damaged props sustained in the crash. Mac and Gary for next blades took first and second. <laughs> you guys killed it. <laughs> and Ricky collected six points for Thunder Power. Pretty good karma. Team Next Blades taking the win. Gary, first race of the day. That's gotta feel good. Yeah, it feels good. I needed to get some time on the track and I felt quite comfortable out there. The tower dive is awesome. I can't get enough of that. So next blades, like Rebel, start their campaign with a perfect performance. Lumineer and Thunder Power have six points. Next, it was Min Chan and Sean for KDRA versus Corey and Colby for Lumineer. Ahead of the race, the winds had picked up which meant the tower climb would be more challenging. Colby was in the lead as the quads approached the first gate, but dropped to third as Corey and Sean overtook on his inside. As the drones approached the tower, Min Chan moved up to third. At the summit, Corey is overtaken by Sean and speed demon Min Chan. Both KDRA pilots were neck and neck 
but then suffered a mid-air collision as they completed lap one. Oh, Mitchen! That was you guys. Mitchen, no! With no points on the scoreboard, this was a disaster for KDRA. We cannot do that. Like, we gotta back it off. Like, chill out. We didn't need to race each other. That's a communication issue there. So next time, if Brian's saying, like, you gotta, you gotta back off, you gotta back off. Moments later, Corey collided with gate one at the start of lap two, and his quad sunk to the bottom of the lake. You're on the water again, are you? So the only pilot left in the air was Colby. All he had to do was complete the course to take home 10 valuable points for Lumineer. All right, I'm here with team KDRA not taking this race, but a spectacular mid-air between Sean and Min Chan. What happened? Honestly, it was just bad communication. Uh, I was out in the front. I knew Min Chan was right there. We had three quads that were actually really close, and basically Min Chan never saw me, I never saw him. We just clipped, took us both out of the race. Just bad luck. Just gotta have a little more communication. You know, one person needs to back off. One, pe you know, just, just, just more communication will, uh, will save us from stuff like that. So Lumineer closes the gap between themselves and the joint leaders Nextblades and Rebel. Big disappointment for KDRA, who start their campaign with zero points. They had a chance to redeem themselves in Heat 4 versus Thunder Power. Sean and Brian against Garza and Bapu. Sean took the lead right from the start, flying efficiently through the first two gates before making a correction at the third. Garza had a near-miss collision with his teammate Bapu at gate three. Sean made a full throttle navigation of the tower, leading the pack, and continued to extend his lead. It was a close race. On lap two, Garza and Brian were head-to-head -head fighting for second place. You and Brian battling it out. Brian made a correction at the tricky bottom gate, which allowed Garza to overtake. Brian came in for his battery change while Sean was still in the pit area, with Min Sean taking care of the changeover. Get out the battery. Go, go, go. Get out. Get Shut out go! Way. But it wasn't an efficient pit, and Brian lost time. One lap later, Sean began his final circuit, looking to secure valuable points for KDRA. Brian was a lap behind in second place, with Bapu in third. The Thunder Power pilot clipped a tree, but managed to stay airborne. While up ahead, Sean took the win, and with it, 10 points for his team. Meanwhile, Garza moved into second, with Brian in third as they navigated the tower. Garza secured eight points for his second place finish. That a boy, Garza. Closely followed by Brian. Is that good? Yeah, dude! Woo! 16 points for KDRA means there are only two points between the top and bottom of the leaderboard. Next up, the joint leaders, Next Blades, take on Rebel. I am here with Team Rebel. You guys are going up against Team Next Blades. Now, with Luke off and out of the picture, I just can't imagine this might be a little bit of a confidence booster for you guys. I think if Luke was here, it would be more fun, you know, just to challenge him. So, But since he's not here, we're going to take it for what it is and try to take home that win. Luke Bannister is renowned for leading from the start. In his absence, Mac took the initiative, followed closely by teammate Johnny. There was drama when Johnny collided with gate five, allowing the rebel pilots to move into second and third. One down, one down. You're all right, man. Max, way ahead now. Up front, Mac kept it together. I'll be coming soon, Gary. Yep, I got it. Meanwhile, Cooper was flying steady in second position, two gates behind Mac. But third place, Vince crashed out halfway around the second lap, leaving only two pilots in the air. What's the situation? You're way out in front. Gary advised his teammate what had occurred, which enabled Mac to take it a little easier as he started his final lap. Next Blades needed maximum points, so he had to fly safely. Huge lead, bro. But there was another disaster. Oh, man. 
He went down. He went down. He went down. Just slow it down. Slow it down. Next Blades would score zero points. It was a huge upset. And that meant Cooper, the last man flying, secured 10 points for Rebel. Good job, Coop. Yeah, buddy. On the ground with Team Rebel taking in the win for this heat. Coop, I see a smile on your face. Finally, how's it feel, man? Feels really awesome. I'm super, I'm super stoked right now. But Michael, what was that like? Um, I mean, we knew points-wise going into it that if we just got three and four, we're pretty much sitting pretty. So I told down, Coop, um, put a little pressure on them because we know that Johnny crashes and we know Mac gets a little pressure on him as well and he'll crash. So I said, put, put a little pressure on them on lap one and two, which we did, and Johnny crashed right off. And then Mac handed us the win. So with the halfway mark, maximum points for Cooper means Rebel is back out in the driver's seat. Coming up in part three, the action continues. Welcome back to Bonn in Germany for DR1 Racing's DHL Champion Series, fueled by Mountain Dew. Oh yeah! Rebel is back out in the driver's seat. They're in action again in Heat 6. This time, their opponent is KDRA. For Rebel, it was Michael and Vince. Like for KDRA, it was Brian and Min Chan. From the outset, Rebel played the strategy game. Vince was flying safely back in fourth place. Ahead of him, Brian fell out of the air, leaving Min Chan as the lone pilot for KDRA. Knowing Min Chan likes to race aggressively, this was a worry for KDRA. He needed to fly safely. Brian's down, just take it easy. Really? Mine just went down. By lap three, Michael, like Vince, was still flying smoothly as they approached the tower. Up ahead on his final lap, Min Chan was in control. There were 10 crucial points up for grabs if he completed the course first. Beautiful. Back in second place, Vince coasted down the tower while his teammate Michael also played it safe. Min Chan delivered, securing first place for his team. Rebel's safety strategy paid off with Michael and Vince taking second and third. Oh yeah! Woo -hoo. That's my boys! I knew we could do it. Let's start with you, Sean. You were pitting this whole time. You saw Min Chan take the lead. What was going through your mind? You know, he was just smooth sailing right through the center of every single gate. Min Chan was just flying like Min Chan Kim, you know, and, and uh, I'm proud of him. How do you feel about that race? Finally, I did not crash. So happy. KDRA needed those 10 points. They are now second. Rebels' tactics paid off. They're sitting comfortably 16 points ahead of their closest rival. Heat 7 saw Lumineer take on next blade. Corey and Kane versus Johnny and Gary. Johnny took to the front at the start, followed closely by Corey. But disaster struck at gate 3 for Lumineer when Corey misjudged his approach. I'm sorry, man. Back out in front, Kane took the lead for Lumineer. Two-second lead, Kane. You pitting? Yeah, I'm pitting. The first pit stop saw Kane come in first after lap one. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! It was a crucial moment for Lumineer. An efficient changeover was essential. Next Blades also came in for their first pit, with Mac taking care of Johnny's quad. Meanwhile, teammate Gary was in third. Johnny rejoined the race in second, but caught Kane as they approached the tower climb. It was neck and neck as they navigated the steel structure and almost collided at the top. At the base of the tower, a small mistake by Kane allowed Johnny to overtake. The Lumineer pilot tried to catch up. Both pilots flew really aggressively at the start of lap four, but Kane pushed too hard and clipped the gate after the lake. It would be zero points for Lumineer. So Johnny up ahead was able to fly more safely. 
Oh, my claws are weird in the air. As he descended the tower, he experienced technical issues. What the f you just blacked out? Oh, my f are you kidding me? This crash meant Gary would be the only pilot to complete the course. Yo, Kane, what happened? Did you see it hanging? I saw your battery fly off. What the f oh. Johnny is so mind-blowingly fast that he just completely ejected the battery straight off of his drone. Johnny, what are you going to do next time? Uh, we got to put some Velcro on the lipo. That's frustrating, man. That's so frustrating. What can I say? So 10 crucial points for next blades in Heat 7. Keep their hopes alive for a place in the final. They jump above KDRA into second place. Next up, can Thunder Power and fourth turn up the heat to challenge the top three teams? They take on Rebel. Cooper and Ricky were blade to blade at gate one, but it was the Thunder Power pilot who took the lead as they crossed the lake. The tree-lined avenue caused him all sorts of issues. Easy, 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 easy. And he fell back into fourth. Cooper and Michael were second and third on the approach to the tower. I just saw you. I'm sorry, I'm trying to go slow. All they needed to do was just finish to secure points, maintain their overall lead. By lap two, Ricky had taken the lead, but once again, he misjudged gate three and hit a tree head on. When I around the corner, I went right into the tree. Teammate Garza misnavigated the wooded section too. Easy, easy. Oh my God, he almost crashed. In the process, he was overtaken by Michael and Cooper. But a spectacular final lap saw Garza regain the lead for Thunder Power's first win. No, I think he's in first. Yeah, you're first now, you're first now. Go, 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 he's go, go, right go, go. behind finish, you. Finish, finish, Punch it, punch it, punch it, punch it, punch it, punch it. Yeah! Michael came in second for Rebel, followed by Cooper. And right now we're playing strategically. So we're doing chess right now. Like we just won points. So I'm flying to finish. We're all flying just to finish. And when the final's on, then it's really racing, so. Rebel is comfortably on top of the leaderboard. Maximum points for Garza puts Thunder Power into contention for second. KDRA and Nextblades are up next, and they too are looking to secure a place in the final. Gary and Mac for Nextblades, Sean and Min Chan for KDRA. My video is gone. But on the starting podium, Mac experienced a malfunction. My video is gone. Yo, what about now? Which meant one less pilot to challenge KDRA, who were demonstrating their supreme flying skills. At gate three, next blade's remaining quad exits the race. Disaster for Gary. So it would be zero points for next blades in heat nine. Min Chan, they're both down. Oh, yeah, Just yeah. fly easy. <laughs> Meanwhile, both KDRA pilots were able to navigate the course more efficiently and came home to secure a maximum 18 points. <laughs> Mac appealed to the judges for a rerun, but his request was not granted. So this was a huge upset for Nextblades. It was the first time that they had not made it through to the final. I'm about to get emotional and I'm gonna just bring everybody in here. Oh my, let's go. I haven't been in the final. Guys, I'm in the middle of this right now. This is happening. Maximum points for KDRA takes them to 44 points in second. This means it's all over for Nextblades who finished with 28. With Thunder Power up next and having 27 points, a one-two finish will secure them a place in the final. Their opponents, Lumineer, cannot qualify. Garza and Bapu were racing for Thunder Power with Colby and Kane for Lumineer. All right, you guys got one and three right now. Garza and Colby had a near miss at gate four. It was a really close call. In fact, all four pilots were flying together on the tower climb. But disaster for Garza when he clipped gate six. Oh, but he miraculously survived and sensibly came into pit. I'm gonna pit. Pitting? Yeah. 
On lap two, Kane was leading the way and chose to make his pit stop, followed by Colby, which was an interesting strategy and put Corey under pressure. Faster, Corey. Kane out. Kane rejoined the race, still in the lead. Papu moved up into second and Garza in third. But on the final lap, Bapu collided with the trees and spiraled out of the race. Come on! After flying low across the lake, Colby for Lumineer hit gate three, and he too failed to finish. Fast and efficient flying meant victory and 10 points for teammate Kane, with Garza collecting eight points for Thunder Power. So after 10 dramatic heats, Thunder Power falls short of qualifying for the final, finishing in third. Next Blades and Lumineer finish fourth and fifth. Coming up after the break, more thrilling drone action. Come on! No! Welcome back to Bonn in Germany for DR1 Racing's DHL Champion Series, fueled by Mountain Dew. What the f you just blacked out? Oh my god! So Rebel will face KDRA to battle it out, become overall winners in Bonn. The finals is a best of three format between the two top teams, each needing to win two of the three races to take home first place. The points breakdown remain the same as the heats, 10 for first, eight for second, with six and three points for third and fourth, respectively. A pilot receives zero points if they fail to finish. What is your guys' strategy to take out Team Rebel in the finals? We're going to go fast and be consistent, man. These guys are great. Uh, you know, they, they've, they've really pulled it out today, and uh, it's going to be a fierce battle. Back at it again for the second time. Tell me, what's the strategy coming into the finals? I mean, they've got some hot laps, but they also crashed a bunch, so... It's still down to consistent flying, and that's what we've been doing, and that's what we're going to keep doing. We have Sean and Brian flying for KDRA, with Minchan on pit duty, and for Rebel, Michael and Vince will fly while Cooper manages the battery swap. And they're off! Sean with the whole shot into gate one. Oh my god! Brian clips a tree and goes down. But wait, he looks like he's able to recover. Sean is leading the pack with Michael a split second behind. Sean in first, going into lap two. Oh, Sean swings a little wide after gate three and Michael passes him. These guys are neck and neck for first place. Sean nearly skimming the top of the tower, chasing Michael. Oh! Near mid-air collision at gate seven as they battle it out for first place. Oh, here! Sean comes into pit, but it looks like Brian is already there. Not the best strategy for the finals. Pit, 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 pit. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Vince looks like he's playing it safe after KDRA's mistake. You're clear. And Michael's back in the air after his pit. Go. Minchon moves to Brian's quad for the battery swap. Go. Pinto. Michael going full throttle the whole way down the dive, maintaining his lead. Tighten the prop. Did you get the prop? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I mean, prop is fine. No, it's still loose. It's still loose. It looks like Brian is having an issue with a loose prop, losing them precious seconds in the pit. Michael on his final lap, absolutely shredding the. Oh no! He clips the ground after gate three and is out. I scuffed up ground. Was I on him? Massive upset for Michael as he had a healthy lead over Sean. Sean is dominating the course on his final lap. Oh! 
Brian slams into the ground right where Michael went down and is out of the race. Prop, prop went out. God. It wasn't tight, Minchan. You gotta tighten them all, buddy. All no, of them. I did it. All of them. All of them? <laughs> Sean finishing his final lap in first place. Am I done? Am I done? Done. Speak up. But has some confusion as to whether he's actually finished. We got it. We, our communication sucks. You're clear? Clear? Communication, communication, tighten the props. We tighten the props. props. All we the props. Want. Why? Why? They're loose. Loose. I did it. All of them. All four. <laughs> All four, buddy. Vince still taking it slow and steady so he can get eight points for second place. But he doesn't pass up the chance for a little victory freestyle on the tower descent. Oh, yeah. We are we are a bad we are we are a a, a, a damaged relationship. Oh, Great job, man! You were hot and bro. Yeah, Just dude. Back and forth, dude. Michael, oh my gosh, you were mind melting fast. You were even ahead of Sean, I think, at one point. But then you went down. Was it just too much? Were you just pushing yourself? I don't know. I don't know whether it was battery sag or not. I got through the 90 degree and I just bumped off of the ground, just trying to pull out of it and get through that turn. And uh, but man, we were just going back and forth. And I've never flown against anyone like Sean. And to have a head to head like that was like awesome. Highlighted my career so far. <laughs> Top praise for Sean Taylor, who secured 10 points for KDRA. But Rebel is only two points behind thanks to some safe, efficient flying from Vince Irie. Into heat two now with Min Sean and Brian in the air, Sean in the pit. Rebels Cooper and Vince flying, Michael on pit duty. Min Sean takes off like a rocket and has the lead. Oh, he's clipped the ground and has to reset for gate three. Cooper takes advantage and he slides into first. You're in first, dude, you're in first. Minchon with an epic overtake at the top of the tower, stealing first place back from Cooper. Minchon maintaining his lead into lap two. Super smooth line through the trees and a hard 180 into gate four. Full throttle, screaming into the climb. His battery must hate him right now. No problem. I'm for, I'm yep, yep. First. you're in first, you're in first. You're gonna land on after this lap. Cooper, you're pitting on the next lap. Sean Taylor signaling to Minchon to come in for his pit. Come on, catch him on this pit, catch him on this pit. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Drop, drop, drop. Cooper pits at the same time. It is a battle for the fastest battery swap. Brian full throttle dive with a quick 360 to line up for gate six. You're good. Coming in, Sean. Clear, 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 clear. Go, 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 go. Minshot back in the air. Perfect timing as Brian comes in a pit. Cooper is right behind him in second place. Minchon pinned the throttle for the ascendant. Oh no! His quad has a technical failure and spins out of control. Oh my God. Okay. Minchon is out. Oh, I've got fill safe. Vince goes down after gate three. It looks like another technical failure. Brutal. Okay. We've only got two up. They're both are down. Both are down. No, no, one's, one's still up, Brian's still up. Cooper is confidently in the lead now, and he moves on to his final lap. Brian just needs to finish to get the points for his team. Two, just one of us and one of them. Yep. He's, he's hovering, dude, he's like not even close, dude. Safety, safety. Safety. Slow cool. it down, last lap, slow it down. 
Cooper getting some solid advice from his team, taking it easy to secure the first place win. Nice and smooth through gate six and seven. And a little victory freestyle for yes. Cooper in first number place. Number one, baby. Stand on the DHL pad. Number one. Good job, Cooper, good job. Ryan comes through the finish gate for second place. And, oh no, he goes down. <laughs> Luckily he made through the gate and he still gets the second place points for KDRA. Pick the right time to explode. Min Chan, mind-blowing speed. I might have been just way too fast for this drone. I know he wants to go back get uh, to get another one. Can you tell me what happened? Yeah, you know, I, I, I did the pit stop, and then Brian came in right after he took off. So I, I was working on the pit stop for Brian, got him up. As I was walking back, I just hear him say no. And I put my goggles down, and I see him tumbling. So I guess on the way up the building, it was just, it was just too much. The ESC let go, and... The thing, I'm, I always got a smile on my face, but I'm really bummed right now because we could have taken points right there. I was going solid. I was in front of Brian. So it is interesting now because we're going into the third heat and everything's tied, but we could have sealed the deal just now. To echo Vince, it's rebel number one, baby, in final number two. With the points level at 18 each, we could not be in a more exciting place ahead of the decider. After the break, the final concludes. Will KDRA or Rebel be the champions in Germany? Pick the right time to explode. Welcome back. It's the finals of DR1 Racing's DHL Champion Series Fuel by Mountain Dew. All right, this is it coming into the final heat of the finals. What's the strategy, Sean? Strategy is just to run our race, man. Min Chan's fast. I'm fast. We need to make sure we not smack into each other and just bring home the gold, baby. Cooper, you still got a smile on your face. What's going on, man? Basically, the four, four of the fastest pilots in the world. This is going to be an amazing race. I'm going to walk away happy as long as I push myself. So that's what I'm going to do. Min Chan and Sean will fly for KDRA with Brian in the pit, and Michael and Cooper are flying for Rebel with Vince managing the battery changeover. Mike, you're powered on. And they're off. Min Chan with the whole shot. Sean has a mid air, but he's able to recover. Michael takes gate three, and oh no, he clips the tree and goes down hard. Oh! But he's back up. Phenomenal. Still, everybody's up. Everybody's up. Sounds like his quad has a damaged prop. Hopefully he can make it to his pit stop. Oh, it looks like Min Chan Squad had a technical failure after the tower descent, and he goes down before gate six. Slow, 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 slow it down. Slow, 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 slow it slow. down, guys. No, he's back up. He'll have to fight to get back in a first, though. What happened to Min Chan? Hey, he desynced. No, I'm down. No, he's up. Michael powers through without a pit stop in a lap two. Quad doesn't sound too healthy and his camera is shaking like crazy. Min Chan back in first place after the dive. Ryan! I'm ready! Someone crash? No! Everybody's in! Bring it to me! I'm pitting, I'm pitting. Yeah. Vince scrambles to get Michael's battery swapped as quickly as possible. Fix my pop if you can. Okay. Good. Minchon is back in the air. Rebel clear. Michael takes off and is right behind. Sean comes in for his pit. Oh no, Michael clips gate one and goes for a swim in the pond. I was shaking. It was over. I was shaking. Okay, we're Someone okay. Crash. I got one guy down, yes. 
One guy down. We're completely ahead. Nice and easy. Minchon with a solid lead going into his final lap. Oh, Cooper goes down after gate two. Yeah, it doesn't look like he'll be able to take off again. Rebel is out. <laughs> KDRA just needs to take it easy and finish to take this home. They're both out of glasses. All right. Slow down and finish. Just right. slow down and finish your laps. That's all we need. Minchon takes first place. Sean screams through the finish gate for a second place win and blasts into the air for some victory freestyle. Thanks, man. That was... You're in, bro. Yeah, you're you're in, bro. Nice, you. Deserved it. Give me a hug, man. I know you're not a hugger. I know. Whoa, I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know. Bring it in. Uh, Bring it in. Uh, ah! So confirmation that KDRA had a maximum score in the last race, taking them to 36 points. Two crashes for Rebel means they remain on 18. Guys, you are looking really good with those medals around your necks. Coming into race three, you guys brought the heat and it took it in for the win. Man, it's, it's, uh, we all know that on race day, anything can and will happen, and today uh, proves that. We're still wrinkled right now. We're, we're ironing it out. Like, this is, this is just this, the beginning. We're, we're getting, we're just getting fired up, so. Man, it feels really awesome. Like he said, we're all wrinkled up. We gotta get straightened out. And the other thing is, the other teams are gonna get straightened out too. So we just, we gotta go, go to work now. This course is my favorite. So, be ready for Allen. At the end of the third race of the championship, the team standings look like this. A maximum five points for KDRA take them to within one point of next blades at the top. Rebel is one point behind in third, with Lumineer and Thunderpower in fourth and fifth, respectively. The Air Hogs move of the day for the tower is Minchan's high altitude overtake in the finals. Minchan is in first place, but hits the ground and has to line up for gate three, allowing Cooper to take the lead. Minchan goes full throttle into the tower and passes Cooper at the apex for an amazing overtake to regain first place. Join us for our next race in DR1 Racing's DHL Champion Series fueled by Mountain Dew when we head to Ireland where the drones will take on the challenge of Spike Island a location open to the elements. Ah, the wind is pushing us into it. Packed full with history. And now a drone racing course in a league of its own. As the pressure continues to mount, tensions rise. Oh no! He just blew me up! Wait a place. Ready! Ready! And so until next time, from the Tower Climb and Bond, this is Josh Dean signing up. Oh. Yeah! Woohoo!